to this relay. So uh, it's going to be interesting to see that final in the afternoon session. And our last event this morning is the men's 1500 freestyle. Three heats with Gregorio Patrinieri swimming in the second one. He is the world and European record holder. He set that time four years ago in Netanya, Israel, and the Land European Short Course Swimming Championships. Take your marks. Okay, so no problems with the start this time. As the first heat is on its way in the men's 1500 freestyle. We have Daniel Wiffen from Ireland in three, Adam Grosipal, Slovakia in four, Sebastian Lunak, Czech Republic in five, and in six, Loris Bianchi, who has, well, the worst entry time of all, just outside of 16 minutes. 16.02, that is what he tries to improve here in Glasgow. Only 57 laps to go, it has the lap counter, so a 1500 meter race is, well, quite long. 60, tur uh, 60 laps, which means 59 turns, actually. And those three, Wiffen, Rospel and Lunak, well ahead of Loris Bianchi from San Marino. Of course, they do not have, neither of these guys have a realistic chance of qualifying for the final that is going to be contested tomorrow afternoon. So uh, those swimming the marathon leg, the 1500 for men and the 800 for women, have an extra day off to rest and to prepare for the finals. Not so long ago, they only swam the 1500 meters once. So there were no prelims and finals, but only timed finals, which meant the strongest heat or the fastest heat was seeded to the afternoon session and uh, all the others swam at the end of the morning session. But that's not the case anymore. Now we have prelims and finals. At the 200 meter mark, it was Sebastian Lunak from the Czech Republic in the lead. And swimming very close to him is Adam Rosipal from Slovakia. A long way to go as they are approaching one fifth of the distance that is 300 meters and Rosipal takes over right now and turns first just outside one minute his last 100 meters So Rosipal has an entry time of 15.09.3, 15.09 in Copenhagen two years ago. One needed 14.41 to qualify for the finals in this event. So uh, that's why I said that uh, these guys swim for setting new personal best, maybe setting national records, but most probably they will not make it this time to the finals of the event. Talking about the finals, as I said, it will be contested only tomorrow and 
we can already look forward to a clash between world record holder Gregorio Patrinieri and um, current European and world short course champion Mikhailo Romanchuk from the Ukraine. They have already had a few great duels, duels in the pool. And the last short course Europeans, Romanchuk won by a huge margin. But last year in Hangzhou at the World Short Course Championships, only seven tenths of a second separated those two. So Romanchuk and Patrinieri, both of them here in Glasgow. Patrinieri will swim in the next heat and uh, Romanchuk in the final heat of this morning session. One third of the distance covered. And Adam Rossipal still in the lead. 101 his last 100 meters. That's going to be a great battle between Rossipal and Luna and also. Daniel Wiffen is close to them. So he also may be in contention. That's what we call synchronized swimming. No, not really. Now it is Wiffen who takes over the lead with a sub 30 split. So the strategy was. to swim a very strong 50 meters after the 600 meter mark. And now he is clearly in front of Adam Rosipal. Luna lagging behind, already half a second behind Daniel Wiffen. We get closer to the halfway mark. And Wiffen is pulling away from Rosipal and Luna. This last 100 meters just outside 60 seconds. And now already 8 tenths of a second ahead of Rosipal and Luna. They reach the halfway mark right now, 750 meters. Wiffen in the lead, 7.32. Well, that suggests swim a little bit outside 15 minutes. He has an entry time of 15.35. And, uh, be quite sure that he will better that. Question is by how much is he going to be under 1535? It is going to be closer to the 15 meter barrier than to the 1530. Meanwhile, they're catching up with Loris Bianchi, overlapping him. with less than 700 meters to go. A sub 402, 400 meters to Daniel Wiffen's name, as he is building on his lead right now. Splitting 30, then 30.2, and a couple of 29s as well. However, still very, very long way to go. We are at the 900 meter mark. 
So three-fifths of the distance covered right now. And Daniel Wiffen is on pace for 15.05 new personal best. He is pulling away from Rosipal and Luna. Once again, if we go back to Copenhagen two years ago at the European Short Course Championships, where it took 14.41 to qualify for the finals. So uh, I wouldn't say that Wiffen has even an outside chance of going through, but that's a nice swing though by, by the Irish. So in Copenhagen, Romanchuk one with a time of 14.14. And last year in Hangzhou at the short course World Championship, he battered that time by a huge margin, 14.09, swimming very close to the world and European record of Gregorio Patrinieri. So 14.09, the winning time. And Patrinieri also on 14.09 with Henrik Christiansen from Norway finishing third back then. Which might be the podium here in Glasgow as well, since we have all three of them in the mix, Patrinieri, Romanchuk and Christiansen as well. Daniel Wiffen now at the 1100 meter mark. This last split just outside 30 seconds. He did split a couple of 29s before this one. And this is going to be a huge personal best by him. Rossipal and Lunak fighting for second place with less than 350 meters to go. Bianchi is way behind. But Daniel Wiffen from Ireland, well, that should be close to the 15 meter barrier. If only he knew that, I'm quite sure he would find some energy for these final 300 meters. He just took a look at the lap counter to see where we are. 11 laps to go. Daniel. Oh, his hair is coming. Uh, of the cap, if I got that shot correctly, that could be quite disturbing for him. So a 30.5 split for Wiffen. Is he fading away or was there just the hair or that sneak to the lap counter? We'll find it out pretty soon as we have 200 meters to go. And Wiffen 30.0 in this last 50 meters. Meanwhile, Lunak is making his move, pulling away from Rosipal, the early leader. The Slovakian is back in third position. And only six laps to go for Wiffen. So 150 meters for the Irish. And uh, unfortunately, it seems that it's not going to be under 50 minutes, but it is going to be a huge personal best by Wiffen. So we are about to enter the final 100 meters. 
Loris Bianchi from San Marino in six, already 100 meter behind the leading Irish. Yes, that hair must be disturbing. You cannot see clearly the lap counter. Only three laps to go, Daniel. Come on. Let's make a huge final surge for this personal best. Daniel Wiffen only 40 meters away from winning the first heat of this 1500 meters. And his time, yes, closer to the 50 meter, 15 minute barrier than to the 1530. However, not inside of that, it is going to be 1504. Point four seven. Luna in second with a fifteen eleven, and Rosipal third. Luna also swimming better than his entry time, and nice swim by Daniel Wiffen. Once again, his entry time was 15.35, and he is better than that by half a minute. And now the bells ring for Loris Bianchi, meaning he also has less than 50 meters left. And that will be it for the first heat in the 1500 meters. So with an Lunak Rosipel and Within a few seconds, Loris Bianchi touching fourth and swimming just outside his personal best, a time of 16.11.7. But now it is time to speed up. With all due respect to Daniel Wiffen, the following heat is going to be a lot swifter. With three Italians in the mix, Detti, Patronieri and Ocerenza. Also look out for David Aubry. From France. But Greg or Gregorio Patrinieri is the favorite to take this second heat. Take your marks. Eric Ditzko. From Norway did not start, so there's an empty lane, lane number eight. And here we have the second heat in the men's 1500 meters. Lindholm from Denmark up in lane zero, then Mertens from Germany in one, Gabriela Detti in two, Sven Schwartz, another German in three, Patrinieri four, Aubrey five, Acherenza six, then Wojciech Wojtak in seven and Martin Bau from Slovenia down in lane nine. So Patrinieri setting the pace. And what a pace that is. Already a body length ahead of the pack. That is led by Gabriela Detti. And only three hundredths of a second outside his own world record at the 100 meter mark. Pontrinieri seems to be a class on his own in this heat. Of course, he has to make sure to qualify, not only by swimming a good time, but also by beating Detti and Ocerenta. Remember, only the two best from each nation may go through to the finals.
So right now it is Quattrineri ahead of Detti. The latter taking bronze medal in the 400 meters yesterday. 150, the next split. We may compare that to the speed of Mikhailo Gromanchuk in the final heat of this event. So Detti is closest to Quattrineri, who is already a bronze medalist here in Glasgow, also bronze medalist last year at the Long Course Europeans here in Glasgow, has an Olympic bronze medal, has a Long Course World Championship bronze medal to his name, but wants to clinch at least another medal here in the 1500 meters. It will be really hard for him to catch up with either Patrinieri or Romanchuk when it comes to the final. Patrinieri still swimming sub 29 second 50 meter splits. And well ahead of Detti and Aubrey right now. Look at the distance, already two and a half seconds up on the chasing pack. And they're not chasing him, they're swimming their own race, I think. 28.7, the last split by Patrinieri. He is not slowing down, not at all. 345.99, the 400 meter split. Once again, 28.8 by him. Aubrey, this time also under 29 seconds. I know it's no use comparing Potrinieri to Daniel Wiffen from the previous heat, but it might be worth noting that he is 14 seconds faster at 400 meters than the Irish was. Which means that in the end he could be, if he maintains this speed, he could be very close to the 14.20 mark, which is, I think, unprecedented in the heat of the 1500 meters. The world record that stood quite long to Grant Hackett, only to be taken away from him by Potrinieri. He was the first one who managed to swim under 14.10. And Mikhailo Romanchuk was the second one. So the first time here in Glasgow, Patrinieri is outside of 29 seconds in this past 50 meters. He swam at 29 flat. And Aubrey is well, keeping up the pace with him. Now four one hundredths of a second under 29 again Potrinieri covering 600 meters the next split 28.79 so uh, keeping the pace Nobri second and Detti in third position right now but the other Italian Acerenza is way faster than Detti is so he might be overtaken 
in the second half of the distance. 28.8, the next lap from Patrinieri. That is just amazing speed in the prelims. Greg Patrinieri on his way to lane four in the finals. 7.08 and the halfway mark. So let's see if he eases out in the second half of these 1,500 meters. But I remember when first seeing Greg Quatrineri swim, I thought, okay, he's not a long distance swimmer. This frequency, he cannot hold on to that for such a long distance, but he proved me wrong. He proved every swimming expert wrong, and in this very special technique of his, he is one of the best or the very best long distance swimmer right now. At the 800 mark, he split was 7.37. Still swimming under 29 seconds each 50 meters. And Acerenta, as expected, now overtaking Gabriela Detti and moving into third position. And he is even faster than David Aubry, so he may go after the Frenchman in the final 600 meters. And in case you were wondering, you can compare Patrinieri split to Daniel Wiffen. Well, he is already 30 seconds ahead of the Irish swimmer. 9.50 covered. So getting to the 1,000 meter mark and uh, David Aubry will be overtaken by Domenico Archerenza when two-thirds of the distance is done. Well, Patrinieri seems to be, well, in incredible form. 932.6. A 57.7, his last 100 meters. Gregorio <laughs> Patrinieri showing off his speed, his endurance, his power, his superiority in this heat. And he can even be faster than that. He just split a 28.6. After all those 28.8, now he is improving on that speed. Already more than 20 meters ahead of the chasing pack of Atrenza and Aubry. And overlapping now, Mertens and Lindholm swimming up in lane 0 and 1. Another 28.6 to his name. Tetti well behind in fourth position. So he really needs to push hard in these final 400 meters to overtake Aubry and Ocerenza. Remember, only two Italians can make it through. And one of them is going to be Greg Patrinieri. No question about that. 1200 meters done and Patrinieri is on historic pace right now only eight seconds off the pace of his own European and world record 
the sub 350 400 meters we've just seen amazing speed already in the prelims of the 1500 meters of course he knows that we will have his great rival Mikhailo Romanchuk in the next heat so he wants to lay down a gauntlet and uh, let Romanchuk know that he is in top shape right now okay 200 meters to go but Trinieri still splitting 28.6 He will win it by a huge margin. Look at that, nowhere near him. The chasing pack of Atrenza, Aubrey and Detti. Detti is getting closer to Atrenza a little bit. Hasn't he left it too late? Only five more laps to go. Patrinieri and Detti is right now one and a half seconds behind compatriot Domenico Ocerenda only 100 meters to go for Patrinieri a 28.5 to his name right now He is going to swim, I think, the fastest ever prelims in the history of short course swimming. Only 50 meters to go. 28.4 Quatrinieri space, and this is going to be well below 1420. That is just incredible what we see from this Italian well below 14 tw uh, 20 it is going to be 14 18.1 just to make a comparison two years ago Mikhailo Romanchuk was the fastest in the prelims he swam 14.30.3 Quatrinieri, 14.34, by the way. And now... and bronze medalist from the last year's World Short Course Championships and also bronze medalist at the Copenhagen Short Course European Championships. So that is Christiansen in five and Romanchuk in lane number four. Once again, an empty lane. That is lane eight. Henning Neuleitner from Germany skipping this race. 
So we have Gunfet from Norway up in zero. Then Vuk Celic from Serbia. Ruven Strau, Germany in two. Jan Mitska, look out for him. He is in three. Then Romanchuk, Christiansen, Akos Kalmar from Hungary in six. Alexander Nurgord from Norway, the early pace center. Uh, sorry, from Denmark, Nurgard from Denmark, he is in seven, and Jose Paulo Lopez from Portugal down in lane nine. So Nurgard, 54.49, which is already seven tenths of a second off the base of Greg Paltrinieri. Romanchuk. Almost a full second slower in the first 100 meters than Patrinieri was. It is still Nurgord in front, Romanchuk and Mitska. Beautiful technique, Mikhailo Romanchuk just taking over before the 200 meter mark. Completely different if you remember the way Greg Patronieri swims. Seems that he is bearing so much energy. And normally he does have great back end speed. But will it be enough against Greg Patronieri in the finals of the 1500 meters? Right now, Romanchuk. About a second slower than Patrinieri was at the 200 meter mark. He knows exactly what the Italians swim and knows exactly what he wants to swim. Does he want to compete with the time, that incredible 1418 of Patrinieri, or he just wants to securely go through to the finals and save as much energy as possible? Romanchuk at the 300 meter turn. This past 100 meters were faster than the speed of Patrinieri. Getting closer to him. Only 7 tenths of a second separating Patrinieri's split and Romanchuk's split. Those two will have great duo tomorrow in the finals of the 1500 meters and if they fight against each other then we know usually see some very swift times like last year in Hangzhou when the short course world championships where they were so close to Patrinieri's world record, both of them actually. 400 meter done, 346.4 the split, and once again, Romanchuk was faster than Patrinieri in the previous heat over these past 100 meters, and only four tenths of a second separating those two virtually, of course. Christiansen in second, Mitska third, and uh, Akush Kolmar holding on to that fourth spot, which could mean qualification for the final for the young Hungarian. Romanchuk pulling away, the only one swimming sub 29 second split. 20.
almost five meters ahead of the chasing pack, which seems to be stronger than in the previous heat with Aubry, Achrenta, and Deti. So these three, Christiansen, Mitska, and Kalmar, they are closer to Romanchuk. 639.4, which is one tenth of a second slower now than the pace of Greg Potrinieri. We are at the halfway mark. 708.3, almost exactly the same as Potrinieri's split was just some 15 minutes ago. Once again, it seems to be a rather easy swim by Romanchuk with those long strokes, not really using his legs, sparing energy, and look at the move Henry Christiansen is making. A sub 28.6 in his past 50 meters, and he is a lot faster than Mikhailo Romanchuk. By the way, Romanchuk is eight hundredths of a second slower than Potrinieri was at the 800 meter mark. But Christiansen looks strong as well. 28.8 by Romanchuk. Now Christiansen back to the 29s. So after a few very strong laps, 28.7 and 28.5. Now he is once again over 29 seconds. Three fifths of the distance done. Mikhailo Roman. 4.99, which is seven hundredths of a second slower than Potrinieri. So just imagine the Italian swimming next to Romanchuk and they would be swimming hands in hands. At the very same pace. Let's see if Romanchuk wants to improve on that pace or not. Wow, the first time he is over 29. So this is where We think 28.6 is. Now Romanchuk seems to be slowing down a little. At the 1,000 meter mark, 932.9. Patronieri was 932.6. Once again, when Patronieri swam his heat, I said there was unprecedented to see such a swift a little bit closer to him than uh, 100 meters ago in second position 28.9 by Romanchuk and uh, right now he is more than a second outside of the pace of Greg Potrinieri Now I doubt that this is going to be better than the Italians' time and uh, might just be outside of 14.20. Yet another 29.1 split by Romanchuk with 3.50 to go. Christian then clearly second ahead of Jan Mitska. with 300 meters to go. 
28.8 Romantic split. 29 flat for Christiansen. So Christiansen is on pace for a sub 14.30 swim in the prelims. And just a reminder, two years ago at the last edition of these short course Europeans, Romanchuk won the heats in a time of 14.30. Uh, and now it seems that not only Romanchuk, but also Poitrinieri and Christiansen will be better than that. A little more than 200 meters to go for Mikhailo Romanchuk, splitting 28.8, 28.9s. This time a 29.1 by him. So uh, now already two and a half seconds slower than Greg Patrinieri was in the previous heat. I think we can say that the Italian will be in lane number four and Romanchuk in five for the great showdown between those two in the finals of the men's 1500 meter freestyle. Twenty-eight point nine for Romanchuk, twenty-nine point one for Christiansen. So the gap is growing between those two. When we get to the fourteen hundred meter mark, meaning that only four laps to go for the Ukrainian. This time now, more than three seconds slower than that of Patrinieri. This might be round 14.22 when he touches the wall in less than 70 meters. But Christiansen, the Norwegian, will also be below 14.30. Mitska in third and Kalmar in fourth. And this heat. So the final lap for Mikhailo Romanchuk. Taking this heat easily. And touching the wall at 14.21.5. Christiansen on the 14.24. And also Mitska is gonna be close to the 14.30. This is the winner of the final heat, Mikhailo Romanchuk, who did swim a decent race and was at the pace of Gregorio Patrinieri at the 900 meter mark. So let's wait and see what those two will have on their minds when it comes to the final. And let's see if Christiansen can be a factor in the final. Winner of the bronze medal behind Romanchuk and Patrinieri and the last Europeans. Winner of the bronze medal behind Romanchuk and Patrinieri and the last world championships. So will history repeat itself? We still have to wait until the final sessions start tomorrow. Now it's time for some rest for these gentlemen and uh, also for us because this is the end of this third session here in Glasgow. Here you have the final results of this final heat in the men's 1500 meters with Akos Karmar in fourth position making the cut for the finals. Patrinieri the fastest, then Romanchuk, Christiansen, Mitska, Kolmar, Obria Trenza and Sven Schwartz are also in. So this was 